So we are out in some fields today looking at how our cover crops overwintered. And with the mild winter that we have, we're seeing a lot of plants that are showing good growth and everything. Over the next few weeks, we will begin to terminate our cover crops so that we can start to plant our cash crop. So the field that we're in today, last fall, had a mix put on that was annual ryegrass, crimson clover, which is what I'm holding, and radish. It was applied with a drone into the crop that was standing at that point. And then this coming spring, we will go in and we will replant corn. So by having three different species out here, we got multiple benefits. The grass crop, the annual ryegrass, helped to pull a lot of nutrients up, suppress weeds. And if they wanted to graze cattle, it would have provided some forage as well. The crimson clover here is from the legume family. So it fixes nitrogen to put back into the soil so we can hopefully reduce our fertilizer inputs in the future. And then we don't see any this spring because it's the crop that's winter terminated, but the radish last fall would have been very helpful on relieving compaction as well as pulling up some nutrients. So this cover crop field will be terminated sometime in the next two to three weeks, most likely, and then we'll plant the corn crop into it. So where this is annual ryegrass that is different than cereal rye that's on a lot of acres, we will wait a little bit longer to terminate it. So annual ryegrass likes to have warmer temperatures where the nighttime temps are at least in the mid 50s for three consecutive nights. That way the plant is completely alive, fully growing, and we get a good kill on it. And then we'll be able to go in and plant our corn crop right afterwards.